Hello and welcome to another episode of What Travis Says. My name is Travis and let's talk about Doctor Who. More specifically, Doctor Who actors who have then gone on to play in superhero television series or film. There are probably many more actors than you are aware of who have worked on Doctor Who and then gone into some sort of superhero TV show or movie. So just to get this out of the way, no Finn Jones, no Jenna Coleman, because they technically didn't go from Doctor Who to superhero. Let's get some of the easy ones out of the way. Christopher Eccleston, who played the Ninth Doctor and then who went off to play Malekith in Thor The Dark World. David Tennant, who played the Tenth Doctor and then played Kilgrave in the Netflix series Jessica Jones. And keeping with the trend of Doctors, Matt Smith, who played the Eleventh Doctor, will soon be playing Loxius Crown in the film Morbius. Then there's Karen Gillan, who played Amy Pond and then played Nebula in Guardians of the Galaxy and other Avengers films. There's Toby Jones who played the Dream Lord and then played the Hydra agent Arnim Zola. There's Josh Dallas who played one of the faces in The Silence of the Library. He ended up becoming Fandrell in Thor. And then there's Tallulah Riley who was also in The Silence of the Library as Miss Evangelista. And then she also went to play in a Thor film, Thor the Dark World, as an Asgardian nurse. Seems to be a bit of a trend with these Silence of the Library actors going off to play in Thor films. Andrew Garfield was in Daleks in Manhattan before he went off to play Peter Parker and Spider-Man in The Amazing Spider-Man. Arthur Darville played Rory and then was cast as Rip Hunter in DC's Legends of Tomorrow. John Barrowman, who plays everyone's favorite Captain Jack, would eventually go off to play Malcolm Merlin in Flash and Supergirl in pretty much all of the DC CW shows. And then there's Tony Curran, and, and this one blew blew my mind. Tony Curran played Vincent in Vincent and the Doctor. Then he went to play Odin's father in Thor the Dark World. I had no idea that that was Tony Curran. All right, we might as well talk about Finn Jones and Jenna Coleman, even though they technically didn't go from Doctor Who to superhero. Finn Jones played Danny Rand in Iron Fist, but before that, he was actually in a few episodes of the Sarah Jane Adventures. And Jenna Coleman, before she was cast as Clara Oswald, actually had some scenes in Captain America the First Avenger. I think that that's pretty much it. If there's anyone that I missed, please let me know in those comments down below. Also, if there were any actors on this list that surprised you, let me know that in the comments down below as well. Like I said, the Tony Curran thing is the one that really blew my mind. Tony Curran is such a memorable actor. As Vincent, he's such a memorable character. I had no idea that that was Tony Curran underneath Odin's father's makeup, all underneath all of that, that that was Tony Curran. But that's it for this episode of What Travis Says. My name is Travis. Thank you for listening to what I have to say, and you will see me tomorrow.